You wanna know how to get the whole crowd singing? I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. <laughs> Once you start getting that down, whole place be dancing. Which is funny because that's actually one of the songs that played at a nightclub at a shoujo party. You know I was dancing to that. And I was next to uh, Nyaners <laughs> and, and also uh, Lumi. And Mary was also there watching me. That was a good dance. Anyway, though, welcome to some good old pokey memes out here. I'm even wearing the hat, sporting the colors, got the Eevees in the background. I also got my tie over there. I should probably hang that up. I'm a little bit more zoomed out today. I don't know. You can see more of Machiko now, more of my collection and some of my wife who's up there. So, uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Or I would say if, you know, if you'd like to like the video, subscribe. You know, that'd be cool if you want. All right. No pressure or anything, you know? It's just my livelihood. Wait, so the top part of your Pokeballs aren't transparent? As he's looking and seeing the Bulbasaur, so how, how do you know which one to send out? Yeah, we just know. <laughs> I guess that kind of maybe makes sense. If you put them always in the same spot, you would you would still know, I, I, I suppose. I mean, there's only six. You just have to memorize the, the positions of each one on your belt, and then, yeah, you're good to go. Oh, my knee. I need a medic bag. What the heck? Oh, dearly. <laughs> Chancy, you soft boiled as it shoved a freaking egg in your face. Yeah, apparently they will come. If they sense any injury, and they will give you their egg. Can I offer you this egg in this trying times? I, I don't I don't know, man. If eggs that actually healed you existed, that would be so cool. So, adulthood dragging along my 33-year-old butt with Pokemon. <laughs> Look, please, I won't let it go. It's mine. It's mine, and you can't force me to do it. No, I won't allow it. Man, that dog really likes that ball. Kind of reminds me, that was the same ball that I used to give to uh, my, my dog, Jake who was kind of like a, I don't know what kind of dog, but he was definitely part wolf, because we found him, no master, anything on the side of the road with a broken leg. So we healed him up and everything was cool, but uh, he was a big dog. <laughs> and he ate the crap out of those balls. He chewed them the muff up. We had to keep replacing them, man. The path with the alligator being nice and straight. A Cinequil, you know, you have to like deviate just a, just a little bit to get to the end, not, not a big deal. And the Chikorita <laughs> is an actual maze in order to actually go to the end here. You see, if you played the games, you would understand what what this is. If, if you played the games, you would understand. Honestly, uh, I always went with Cinequil. He was always a fun starter. Uh, not too much trouble to level up, you know? It was, it was good. I don't know why, but the water starters are always, like, the easiest ones to go with. Well, not necessarily true. I think Bulbasaur was a pretty easy start because it was literally a rock and then it was a water gym afterwards. So, eh. So, we're in the bushes, the tall grass, and we see a Pikachu. Pikachu. The mouse Pokemon. What the frick is a mile? <laughs> Why you can't just say that? Do Pokemon even have like normal animals? How would you know what a mouse is? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, the cow Pokemon, what's a cow? Do you mean like a, the milk tank Pokemon? Like, what do you, what exactly you mean by that? What is that animal? When you ride your bike across the sea at the Isle of Armor and yeah, just the freaking shark coming at you at blazing speeds as you ride the frick away from that thing. Oh my god, you have no idea how scary it was. The only cool thing about that DLC, I hated the Isle of Armor. I hated that place. It was so bad. But the Sharpedo stuff, that was nuts. The DLC after that, though, was so phenomenal. I love, like, the little roguelike dungeons. I played that with Ashley. We got a whole bunch of, like, legendaries. That was actually really fun. I enjoyed that. All right, so it's a diglet. All right, then what are you doing with that? No! <laughs> no! No! Why would you do that? The Among Us. So 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 Among Us. So, so. Now, now I'm just sounding like Batman. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's a spoink. People who don't know just think it's napping, and the people who know, um, this poor little thing's once it stops bouncing, its heart stops and it dies. Man, why do they always have to like do like this cute little Pokemon? And then they add like, yo, if this one thing happens to it, like if its tail goes out, it dies. Oh, Aerodactyl looking at Brave Bird and Head Smash, and this is where I put my best moves. 
if I had them. <laughs> it sucks when some Pokemon are like a certain nature and they use physical moves, but then they're like, you know what? We're going to give them their final move being a special attack. And I'm like, why would you do that? Why not a physical move? Why not fix the Pokemon? Me, after fighting a wild Pokemon, catching it and adding it to my team. And it's just Anderson picking him up, <laughs> dusting him out, like, there you go. How about a nice handshake? Yeah, come on. There you go, buddy. Give me that. Ah, oh, yes. Great. Welcome to the team. <laughs> nice to have you. Sorry for kicking your butt and making you almost faint and die. <laughs> Good time in Pokemon, man. It's in order to make a friend, you have to beat the crap out of him. Any questions before you get started? You have Cameras in this time period? <laughs> Where'd you get those, man? How do you have all this technology in the past? What's going on? I mean, they have Pokeballs, I guess, so... I mean, all right. My thirsty butt cannot be a Pokemon trainer. And what does this mean? What do you mean by... <laughs> What's going on here? I am a little bit concerned. I don't know. I don't know how I like about this. Don't, don't you capture them low poonies, all right, brother? So teenagers in real life, and it's the pre-evolution Pokemon out here, very popular ones, and teenagers on Netflix being full grown. <laughs> okay, dude. Or, or it could also just be JoJo's too. <laughs> you can literally just put JoJo's where they're all fancy and exotic there. I feel like that's a, that's a good JoJo meme just in and of itself. I still don't know how Jotaro is like under 18 years old. That makes zero sense to me in Stardust Crusaders. So Poke Wars, the powers that's inside, and it is Bulba Fett. You gotta be kidding me. He comes with a Pokeball too. What is this awful creation? Hilarious spoof of a thing, but that is, that's terrifying. Giving Vaporeon some beer. There you go, buddy, have some beer. Yeah, boy. Right. <laughs> just knocks him off afterwards. Just knocks him off afterwards, giving him some beer. I mean, Vaporeon at least got a drinkies, so I guess that's something. Got a little bit of the sips. Glad Peter, I told you not to go for r slash Gardevoir at r slash Lopuni. I've never visited those places. Should I? All right, well, this is that's not too bad. Wait, what's this not safe for work one? Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, we're going to be moving away from that one. Why is it when someone signs up for the gym challenge, they always pick one of you three? And it's 69, 420, it's 666. I feel like 777 would be a popular one too. But yes, those are the troublemakers. Those those are dead. I, I didn't pick six. I did pick 69. I, I, I'm guilty. You search for God of War while I search for Gallade. We are not the same. <laughs> we are not the same. All right. Yeah, I guess you are a little bit different. You like your, I guess, boy God of War. I mean, makes sense. Maybe you're female. Maybe you swing the other way. Maybe you're looking for a thumbnail. <laughs> Protect your hands with gloves, glasses to protect your eyes, and a little bit of copper tone to protect your skin, and to protect the world from devastation. Do you not tell people to do donations? <laughs> it feels like a little bit of a sin not to say the entire thing and finish it, but that's fine. I'll allow you guys in the comment section to finish it off for me. Hey, Serena, what's your favorite ability? Cute charm. Cool. Mine's oblivious. Whoa! <laughs> Dang! Absolutely annihilated. No effect on him whatsoever. You can kiss him and then he'll immediately forget about your existence entirely, <laughs> Serena. Sorry. Ah, oh, yes. Would you guys like some um, Pikachu foreskins? What? I'm just going to move on from whatever. What? Uh, why? Why not? Oh, why not? <laughs> why? Why not? You stupid bastard. <laughs> that one was a clever little edit there. I like that. So here we have the proper way to use a Vaporeon, and it's keeping cool during those hot summer nights. I feel a little bad for the Vaporeon. <laughs> That's probably the, the best way to use the Vaporeon, I, I guess, in that way. Not that you guys would do awful things, but we're not going to go in that. That's, that's just a nice, cuddly... Sleeping with your Pokemon situation, right? That's not too weird at that point, right? 
I wonder what is the fine line where it's cute to sleep with your Pokemon like a Pikachu and an Eevee, and then it goes to like, that's weird. I have Vaporeon over here. Oh, what are you doing there? As it's all tangled up in the Christmas lights and you can't get your way out of this, you little shit. <laughs> you little piece of turkey. I can't remember what that's actually from, but that is pretty cute. That is honestly really cute. See, we could do Pokemon Vaporeon memes without causing any weird stuff out here, okay? And here we have Flareon, just, everyone's just like, stop that, you're too hot with the fan, the hot air is going around. But then, ah, yes, Glaceon, that's the good shiz right there. <laughs> that's, that's the reason why you want a fan, let's go. I don't know why, I'm just getting a lot of cute evolution memes out here, and I'm happy. That makes Noble happy. We have a comic by I Draw Sizzles where it's the Magnemite, and it's a little sad, but yo, here's a citrus berry, bro. It <laughs> just smashes its face into it. Like, there you go, bro. That's gonna heal you right up there. How does it eat? How do you feed something that has no mouth? That's what I wish to know. I think it just feeds off of electricity. How would you, like, realistically, how does that work? Here's just an image of what r slash Lapuni looks like. Just right here. I feel like this is where it's uncomfortable after a certain point of cuddling with your Pokemon. <laughs> Batman, I, I I caught a I caught a little Pokemon. Oh no! Do you want to know what Pokemon I caught? Joker. What Pokemon did you catch? What Joker? is it, Joker? I caught a little punny, Batman. No. I caught a little punny. Joker, no. Oh no, Joker. <laughs> Don't Joker. tell me. You, you already it. know, Batman. No. You know what I'm gonna do to that thing. No. Joker. Joker, it's what? an animal, Joker. You can't. It's weird. Batman, there's no laws against the Pokemon, Batman. Joker. I can do whatever I want with it. No, bro, no, no, don't do it. I'm gonna do it, Batman. <laughs> I don't know why that would tickle so funny, but it's, it's such a Joker thing to do. It really is a Joker thing to do. Anyway, that's where we're going to end our little Poke Meme session out here. I hope you guys enjoyed some of these here. Was, this one was pretty funny. <laughs> this, this, this one, had, we had some good stuff in this one. Yeah, we hold back a little bit and they piled up a little bit more. Got some good stuff. So, uh, yo, looking forward to some, uh, you know, Violet and Scarlet, you know, more stuff coming out about this. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Maybe check out some of my other videos. And I hope to see you beautiful sons and guys again next time. You crazy mother...